Hi all, I have an exciting new course on the art of Chatmate. So Chatmate tactics in particular, I wanted to do a deep dive to see if I could further clarify my understanding of Chatmate opportunities which might arise on the chessboard or how to get to them. What to look out for, which could trigger that there might be a possibility of a Chatmate. So this new course is over 20 hours of video content and I look at the basic mating patterns which have been established and try and break down in the section on mating patterns for example I try and break down the key elements and the key things that are demonstrated by the mating patterns so you can see on this section the most important checkmate combination principles and patterns and then the more kind of specialist ones so with quite a few examples of each and then it's like training and more training with different levels of practice so there was something very interesting i did discover i think i did really clarify my checkmate understanding a little bit more i mean chess is a massive game but it's a little bit more being open-minded to uh ideas and without giving too much away if you look at my essential processes to be aware of section i do see within the context of mating in particular what we need to look out for the trade-offs of the different tools in the uh, mental toolkit but uh, one of the the big principles and concepts i kind of liked and have been using for a long time without kind of labeling it is this idea of amplification you could think of it as, as like reverse engineering or removing the skies layers. So there might be a lot of positions which are nearly there for chat mating, for example, the opponent on the back rank, and it might need the deflection of the fender or a decoy or an interruption of the defender or a defender to be pinned. There might be some layers to take away. So it's a kind of amplification process to take these layers away. So I talk about this quite a lot in this course. And actually, that's a useful skill set. And any, in any case, in my view, we usually think about chess for, for the key skills in the middle game. Generally, calculation, visualization, evaluation. But I'm making an argument in this course, throughout this course, about this notion of amplification. I think it's a really useful way of thinking about chess and makes playing chess maybe even more fun than, than it already is so there's some interesting ideas within this course and through the nuances of each particular example you know others other insights and clarifications are brought into the foreground so i do hope you check it out it's the art of chatmate and yes i've i've really uh kind of gone through and trying to get some really good examples to use throughout this course so i think it is a pretty exciting course the lectures are in general quite short so good for very hot weather like we're having at the moment and short and fun is is basic you know philosophy and conclusive you know they, they they're going to be ending in chatmate these positions that are demonstrated in this throughout this course okay so i hope you check it out okay thanks very much